far, I want to just tell a couple of quick stories and wrap this up so we can turn the presentation back over to you all. Um, as a first generation college student, uh, as a Pell Grant recipient, as somebody who joined the military to get the GI Bill to help pay for college, and as somebody whose two children graduated from that magnet school next to us, uh, this is all very personal to me. And so I'm grateful for y'all's service on this committee uh, in education, to support education in North Carolina. When I was uh, I had just been named into this role. I served at, at Winget for a long time, and one of the first things I did, I think it was in the first two weeks of, of becoming president at Winget, I went on a city-to-city -city tour uh, with the Charlotte Chamber of Commerce from Charlotte to Nashville. And what precipitated that trip was in 1989, there was a front page article on the Wall Street Journal that said the South is open for business. Atlanta, Richmond, Charlotte, Orlando, you name it, it was talking about the South is going to become an economic engine for the country. And then at the end of this article, they said, with one notable exception, Nashville is nowhere to be found and can't seem to get out of their own way. So all of the business leaders on Monday morning after this appeared in the, in the Wall Street Journal on a Sunday in 1989, they got together and said, this is unacceptable. What will we do? So in 2015, uh, how many ever years later that is, I was an English major, not a math major, um, we, uh, we went on this city city tour to see what was Nashville's turnaround. What changed from 1989 when the Wall Street Journal outed them in public that they were not a business friendly uh, environment to now us visiting to see what their secret was? And in our first meeting, there were about 200 of us on this trip. We were in a large auditorium and this gentleman who looked like he had been uh, a product of central casting, uh, he had on his boots and you know he had the, the drawl of Nashville and he had been a part of economic development and city leadership since uh, 1989. He said, I know you all are gonna be here three days, but I'm getting ready to tell you our secret and so y'all can just get back on the plane and go back home to North Carolina and save yourself the trouble. He said, the secret here is partnership. He said, we couldn't do this when we were all pulling in different directions. And I think you've heard pretty clearly that's our theme here. That I think that silos and division and the kind of agency when we all try to do it the same way. I think when we're thinking about the future of education, and I think about it, I, I use the term uh, cradle to grave, um, and some of my marketing friends said, can we call it uh, cradle to career? You know, it sounds better than grave. Um, I think we should be lifelong learners, and so even after retirement, I think I, I still stick with grave. But when we think about that ecosystem, I think we all have a stake in it, and we don't reach these outcomes unless we are thinking about it. And that's where Dr. Houlihan's partnership in reaching down in the earliest possible stages of the K-12 system to introduce students and their families to career and educational pathways that improve their lives and improve our community is vital. As I said earlier, both the Gateway Scholarship and the Wayfind program doesn't happen without the federal Pell Grant and without the North Carolina need-based aid, and for that I am grateful. Uh, you all will know that there were, uh, the Belk Foundation generally sponsored 10 uh, counties, regions, to take a deep dive in relation to My Future NC. There were more than 40 applications. We were the recipient of one of those 10 funding grants to take a deeper dive. And so what you see, you have this in your slide deck, and I want you to look at how many times teamwork, collaboration, working across industry, business, government, school systems, public, private, charter, you name it. It's the key to what we're trying to do here to lift outcomes. And I think this endorsement by the state and by the Belt Foundation, on our steering committee, we have representatives from Union County Public Schools, South Piedmont Community College, our university, the Chamber of Commerce, Economic Development, Town and County Administrators. You all get the picture. In our last slide, is one that is ours, uh, but I thought ours at the university that we use when we talk to funding agencies and government officials and community partners. But it is, if there is a secret to the sauce here in Union County, it is this power of partnership in the same one that existed in Nashville. And when I was on that trip, I sat there for three days with my colleagues from Mecklenburg County, and not to offend anyone who may be a resident there, but you could see them thinking, we're never going to be able to pull this off because of the amount of collaboration that it took in Nashville to happen. In all three days, as somebody who's lived in this community for more than 30 years now, I kept thinking, you may not be able to do this in Mecklenburg County, 
but we as sure as heck can do this in Union County. And I think that that's what you've seen here. We appreciate your time very much. Representative Torbert will turn it back over to you, and I'm sure my colleagues and I will answer whatever questions or take it in whatever direction you would like to from here. Thank you.